Welcome back to KMM Tech. Today we're going to talk about motion lighting and um, a little bit more specifically what I've been doing in my smart home this past weekend. One of the things I've set out to do since switching over to Hubitat is to try and make it a more dynamic system and try to make it a more reliable system. Um, it, it's been really good um, even before Hubitat. You know, Hubitat has taken it to a, a new level where the reliability is excellent. Um, but I still have issues with devices dropping and and not always um, functioning the way they should and specifically the devices that I have the most trouble with are smart bulbs and um, you know things like pre-connected bulbs and GE link bulbs they either fall off the network or they don't respond reliably I even have issues with Philips Hue and I think part of it um, is just that the area that I'm in there's just so much Wi-Fi traffic and wireless traffic um, that the, it just gets it gets confused. So I find that if I if I tend to move away from the smart light bulbs, I'm sure if I put a you know a Zigbee repeater or something, and it would make the things better. But um, I, I've been moving this direction with switches. I think the switches make the smart home um, a little bit more user friendly because I know like with the when you have smart bulbs, you can't turn switches off because then the, the bulbs don't respond properly and they won't turn on, you know, so trying to move towards the switch thing, I think makes more sense. So here's what happened this weekend. I was in my basement and I, I was looking around and I said, you know what, I have this dimmer switch in my basement with dimmable bulbs um, that I don't really use as a dimmer. Um, it doesn't really make sense for them to be used as a dimmer. Um, I thought I would use them and I'm, I'm not. Just an on-off switch would be fine. However... I think that in my master bathroom, I would use the dimmer a little bit more. So I moved the dimmer switch from my basement to the um, the master bathroom, which was just an on-off um, Z-Wave switch. And then I moved that Z-Wave switch to the master bedroom. Because I had three different smart bulbs in there, one of them recently just dropped off. I'm not sure if it dropped off the network or whether the bulb actually went bad. I didn't even go, go about troubleshooting it. I didn't care at that point. Um, cause I was going to do this, this move. So I moved the, moved those two switches around and I put, um, some Philips Hue bulbs, um, down in the basement that I had not been using. And we'll talk about those in another video. But for today, what I want to talk about is what I did in the master bathroom, which is I put that dimmer switch in. So I'm going to go to the motion lighting area here. In fact, before we do that, let me just, let me, well, let's, let's talk about the motion lighting. So one of the nice features inside of Hubitat that you can do um, so I'm going to go to where it says lights to turn on. And you'll see that there's this option called set these dimmers per mode. So I have a lot of modes and I use modes um, quite a bit inside of my, my habitat. So I'm going to jump over to the, my mode screen so you can see how many modes I have. So there's a home mode. The home mode I use for when I'm home, obviously. The night mode is used at night. And the away mode is used for away. Um, those three modes, um, for the most part, I think could be in any one system. So then I have this mode called arrival. Arrival exists for when I am just arriving home. I have certain rules that fire only when arrival is the mode. Um, so certain things happen during the time that I arrive. Um, this is a mode that you probably won't need to have, um, but it's it's an option. So anyway, let's get back down to these other modes. So I have this morning mode, um, which is for the morning. Um, this is a mode that you probably could have. Um, I use it to just basically turn off my motion sensors in the morning or to set certain lights for certain brightnesses so they don't go above certain brightnesses. And I do that based on modes. Um, I have a mode called no bathroom motion, which is um, a mode that we're going to talk about in a little bit. I have a mode called meds and I have a mode called pre-bed. So what happens is, is after six o'clock um, at night, I have a rule that, that basically turns my home into kind of like a pre-bedtime kind of mode thing. And what it does is if I turn the television on in the, in the master bedroom, um, it actually switches to this no, no bathroom motion so that um, my my motion sensors aren't activated. Otherwise, lights would go on and my TV would pause and all sorts of crazy things would happen. Um, and same with pre-bed and this meds thing. We're not going to talk about meds because meds is kind of a weird rule that no one's ever going to have or need. Um, so no bathroom motion in this pre-bed um, mode of the two that we're going to talk about. And we can even kind of throw a night in there, I think. 
So um, we're going to go back to the master bath um, rule that I have here. So this is a motion lighting app. So let me just go back to the apps list here. So you'll see that I have um, down here, there is, where did it go? Uh, motion lighting apps, there we go. So you'll see I have this master bath light app, which is what we were just looking at. So you'll see that if the motion sensor, the master bath sensor becomes active, it will turn on the switch master bath. Um, and that master bath rule will only work if it's in the modes of arrival and home. So we're going to take this a little bit a little bit further here. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add some modes to this so that it's going to also work during pre-bed and no bathroom motion. And that should be all I need. So all four of these um, are going to get an option here to, to run. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these modes, this no bathroom motion and this pre-bed, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go to the dimmers area here. And I'm going to set the master bath dimmer. Um, to uh, no bathroom motion and pre-bed. And you'll see what that does is I now have the option to have a level for no bathroom motion and a level for pre-bed. So I'm going to say if the mode is no bathroom motion, I'm going to set it to 5%. And I'm going to set the same for pre-bed to 5%. So if I'm in either of those two modes, this no bathroom motion and this pre-bed mode, um, at, it'll turn on the light, but not at full brightness. It'll turn it on at 5%. So because it's nighttime, I don't want the light on too bright. Um, instead of it being at 100%, it'll be um, um, at 5%. So now I'm going to go back to this turn on switches per mode. I was just thinking through this, and I'm going to actually turn this off. We're going to get rid of this, and we're just going to add some more modes to the um, dimmer because it's going to work better. Just by turning it on, um, what will happen is because it was at 5% at one point, if it, like let's say, let's say I went to the bathroom at night, it set the dimmer to 5 to five percent and then turned off. When I wake up in the morning and try to use the bathroom again, it will turn that switch on, but it will remember that it was at 5%. So it'll, it won't actually go to the full brightness, which is what I want. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add some more modes. So I'm going to add the arrival mode and the home mode. And for arrival, we're going to set it to 100 percent and for home we're going to set it to 100 percent as well so now you'll see that i have four modes so if the if the mode is arrival or at home and that motion the motion is sensed it'll turn on that dimmer to 100 percent if the mode is no motion no bathroom motion or pre-bed the the level will be five percent and we can go and hit done And then down here, we're just going to make sure that we have, um, we're going to use a delay to turn off these lights. So the delay is set to five minutes. You can actually set a delay per mode, which is actually kind of a th cool thing. I think I'm actually going to do that. So let's do use delay per mode. So we have an arrival rule. We have a home rule. We have a no bathroom motion and a pre-bed. So my off delay for arrival, let's set that for, uh, let's make it um, three minutes. And we'll do the same for home mode. And I'm going to actually leave it as um, one minute for no bathroom motion and pre-bed. And the reason I say that is because if I think about it, if I'm in the bathroom and I go to the bathroom and I come back out, I don't want to have to wait five minutes for that light to go off automatically. So I'm going to set it to one. And then now the light will turn on and turn off after three minutes for arrival or for home and one minute for no bathroom and pre-beds because this is when I'm getting ready for bed or in the middle of sleeping. And then these are for um, during the day, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then the switches that are going to turn off is the master bath switch 
And that is going to be it for this. So let's just review this rule really quickly. So there's the master bath sensor. If that becomes active and the modes are arrival or home, it'll set it to 100%. If the mode is no bath or motion or pre-bed, it'll set it to 5%. Okay. Then it'll turn off those lights if it's arrival or home after three minutes of no motion. And if it's um, no bath or motion or pre-bed, it'll turn off after a minute. And the switches that it's going to turn off is the master bath switch. So that's it for this rule. And I think this is going to work really, really well. And I'm going to hit done. And we're going to call it a day. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them in the comments section below. If you're liking what we're doing here, please hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that bell notification so that you know when new videos are coming out. We'll see you guys next time. See ya.